morning, folks. It's like, I don't know, quarter after six. We were up this morning when Babe got home. And then I went back to bed for a little bit. And just woke up again. Just woke Carly up. She's dressed. I imagine Tigger wants a little bit of milk or something. She's just meowing. Just a meowing. On inside. Do you want some milk or what do you want? Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, get your ass in here. It's freezing, you're letting all the cold air in. Tigger, come on. She knows she's not allowed in here. Tigger, come on. Come on, Tig Tig. God, it's fucking cold. Tigger. Come to the fucking house. Oh, you're a fucking bitchy old cat, man. Meow. Yeah, where the fuck's your food bowl? Fuck. Go in the house. Oh, it's all the way over here. Fuck. She's just determined that I fill this fucking thing up. Burr. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's like, no, I'm not doing it. Bring it out here, bitch. Oh, burr, fuck, I don't know how you do it, Tig Tig. Fucking cold out there. What even is the temperature this morning? Minus six. Do you want some cereal? Yeah. Yeah? Alrighty, we'll get some cereal going. You ate your, uh, all the Cheerios the other day, though. Do you want these Cheerios or Rice Krispies? Alright, we'll do Rice Krispies. That I can make happen. I like Rice Krispies. Maybe I'll have a bowl too this morning. Change things up a little bit. Oh, we just dropped the rice. Lovely. Early morning, minute rice hitting the floor. Rice in minutes. Fuck. You like this stuff? Yeah! Yeah! Alrighty, I like to hear that answer. So yeah, I don't believe we're gonna be going to work today because I was messaging with Matt last night. He's having some truck issues. Then he's like, "Do you have a trailer hitch? You know, like one seven eighths or two inch ball?" And I was like, "Well, I got fucking lots of trailer balls, but no fucking trailer hitch on the Jeep there." So we're sort of sol, and he's like, "Ah, for fuck." So uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'll be working today. He said it should be good for Friday, though. And then uh, every other day after that, it should be fine. But, you know, shit happens. Can't really do a whole lot if the truck's fucking up. I guess he's got it at the shop, though. So, kids' lunches are all done, made up. I'll grab their backpacks and are ready to go. Carly, she's brushing her teeth. SJ, though. Better go check on him. I think he might have went back to bed. I know he's up, but he hasn't been downstairs yet this morning. Chloe, shut the fuck up. Fuck. Shut up. Fucking dog. See you later. Will you not trip me neither, you fuck? Like, what's your issue this morning, bitch? Fucking dog. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking dog. Fucking dog. Fucking dog. Fucking dog. What's your issue? Gave Tigger some food. Normally we set her a food dish up. Cause sometimes you'll fill up her food dish. She'll be whining for it. She'll eat a few bites. And then she'll walk away. And, you know, go for a little stroll. You'll let one of the dogs out. And then they'll just devour the cat food. So if you put it up there, the dogs don't get it. And then she sort of just comes to it whenever she pleases. Minus the birds and squirrels fucking ripping her off. You see her, the puppies whining downstairs. They're getting pretty big. 
So yeah, I guess I'll let Tigger eat and then uh, I'll go have a shower. And I don't know, I might uh, go catch you a little bit more sleep, relax with Babe for a bit. Then we'll wake up and figure out what we're doing today. Probably just try to get a whole bunch of shit done around here since we're not going to be working. Went back to sleep for a little bit, relaxed with Babe. It's 12 o'clock now and we are up, ready to roll for the day. Oh, that was good. Do the dishes up. Dirty. Dirty. Oh, well, we got all the dishes washed up. That's a pretty good breakfast. Babe enjoyed it. She says she's never uh, tried one of those egg toast things with a cheese slice on top of it before. So she liked it. Well, that's good. Good old thumbs up approval. I guess... Uh, We'll clean our bong here, and then we'll go downstairs. We'll get all the clean laundry from last night that I did. We'll bring it upstairs, and then we'll go into SJ's room, round up all his dirty laundry, and take it downstairs, and throw her into the machine. Good old laundry day. Well, that's good. We got the bong all cleaned up there, and then the big double load laundry basket that we did all the laundry last night, it's all clean. We took that upstairs. Then while we we're upstairs, any other dirty laundry that was in SJ's room, our room, Carly's room, rounded her all the fuck up. And uh, yeah, we'll get to washing. Just fucking lovely. Gotta love good old fucking dirty laundry, you know. Good stuff. I honestly love doing laundry. Fucking train dog could do it. Put it in here, put it in there, click a button, throw some soaps in, then fucking do it again. Like, I don't know, it's pretty simple if you ask me. It's a fucking sauna in here. 27.2 fucking degrees. Holy fuck, no wonder why I can't barely breathe. Jesus. Right. Like, this door can stay open, like, all day. Literally, just, just like that. It's fucking five degrees out there. Got the fucking wood stove just a thumping downstairs. 30 fucking degrees in here. Jesus, Marty. Oh, and gingerbread man house has fucking been sitting there in the back kitchen for, like, I don't know, two weeks. And I think I'm the only one that's been eating it. Probably why I got fucking toothaches galore. Can't even get the candy off there. There we go. Yeah, so. I think we're gonna throw her out. Yeah. Even the candy tastes shitty. Still eatable. But I think to save uh, any more future toothaches from this anyways, We'll just throw her out. That was quite the decoration. Yeah, 
It'll burn good in the fire. Should anyways. I don't see why gingerbread cookie won't burn. If it'll burn in the oven, she'll burn in the fire. Cleaning out the fridge too while we're at it. Some leftovers and shit that aren't gonna get eaten up. More dishes to be done. Gotta put a new bag in that. Empty that dirty old bag after we keep looking if there's anything else to go. So yeah, I guess we're definitely having a fire here shortly. Just got another bag rounded up. Nice and clean. That's canned, but there's only two in there, so might as well be nice and clean. Nice and clean. All the garbage taken care of. Now we'll just walk around the house with this bag. Then any other garbage, we'll uh, just top her up. Got the garbage rounded up. Just lovely. I imagine we'll burn this shitty old blanket too. Babe said we were just gonna get rid of them after. We're done with the poppies, so there's already two of them downstairs, and this blanket's basically just fucking decoration, so probably burn it. Don't burn the ratchet strap, though. We'll go dump this fucking bucket of ashes that was still red hot last night, so we uh, just let her sit to cool down on the deck overnight. Go dump the cunts. We'll bring the fucking bucket back into the basement. We'll pack a nice bong load, smoke it up. And I think I'm gonna find my extension cord, get my shop back, and we're gonna clean out the Jeep just because me and Babe are using it all the time, you know. Fucking lunch break, I'll sit in there with my work buddies and we'll smoke a bong. So there's lots of foot traffic and shit, so it's always good to give her a little vacuum and shake off the floor mats and wipe down the dashboard. All that fun stuff. Ashes are nicely dumped. I'm telling you folks, it's just fucking beauty day out today. It's not a fucking cloud in the cock sucking sky. Big old fireballs just up there. Just fucking fire in the balls today. It's just lovely. Lovely weather. How you doing? Just fucking brapping on by. How you doing? So yeah, we got a little vacuum there. Gotta get the power cord yet. And then uh, get the bong into us. Cause I'm not doing nothing until I get that into me. That's pretty much number one where we start off right there. I had to fucking read this thing. I don't know why. Normally it's not that bad. Oh, fuck. Now you really can't read it. Normally it's not. Yeah, I should have just fucking left it. Good one. Told you, I shouldn't do anything until you smoke a bong. Now look, I'm out here doing stuff before I smoked a bong. Now I'm breaking shit. Fucking with the program. I was just trying to see if there's like a settings, you know, for the dim. Dimness settings. Oh, yeah, I fucked it. It's Thursday, I think. It's saying it's Wednesday. It's 12. Oh, yeah, I fucked this. Um... Fuck. Um, yeah, I think that'll be a Nan, Nan situation. I'm not really too tech savvy to tell you the truth. Low record. Oh, is that her? We'll take it. I'm just putting it back. Never happened. Fuck, 23 degrees in the house. Lovely. Hell of a lot better than 27. Pretty good stuff for fucking 10, 15 dollars an ounce. Trying to think what we're gonna do for dinner too. 
Let me play some more chops. Three chops there. Five here. See, I'm, I'll pull these ones out. Five chopper Rooney. Do something with fucking pork chops tonight, I guess. We eat a lot of fucking pork chops. Pork chops and chicken and hamburger. That's pretty much what we live off right there. What the fuck else do you eat? Like, it's hard to fucking, you know, think of new shit. Once you're used to cooking the same shit, you just keep eating and cooking the same shit. But it's fucking whatever, you know. We uh, we have quite a quite a bit of a variety over here compared to some households. Just flipped the load over into the dryer. Got the last load into the wash. Got the first mat out of the Jeep. I'm gonna plug the vacuum here. Plug her in, and then yeah, start vacuuming some shit, some dirt and dust and fucking dog hair and whatever else may be laying on the floor. So as you can tell, this is the side I've been working on. And that's the side that's still all fucking dirty. Well, that's way better than it was. Eventually it still needs to be wiped down, but fuck, my hands are getting chilly and I swear I've been vacuuming just this part for a good hour. The dirt was fucking in there and hasn't been vacuumed so long. Yeah, at least an hour, I would say, I've been vacuuming this. And the kiddos are home. Kids are home. Oh. Some water. The Jeep's all vacuumed, just washing off the mats. And then, uh, I guess we'll do a little bit of spraying on the inside. Mats are all cleaned up. Let those air dry for a little bit. We got this brush here that we're using on mats. We'll get some more soapy water and uh, might as well clean up the rims. I'm not gonna fucking wash the car because we don't have the hose hooked up yet. And I'm not hauling 150 buckets of water to wash the car. But I'll at least freshen up the rims and rubber. Then we can do a little bit of wipe down on the dash. Put the mats back in. And uh, yeah, that's good. Oh, she's all wiped down, all shined up. Looks good in here. Smells pretty good. Mats are all clean. Perfect. Friggin' perfect. Tigger's having some milk. Spilling it right down the hood. Carly's drawing something. What are you drawing? I'm drawing this and I got Okay. Then I'm uh, busting up some pork chops. We got our five pork chops into a little uh, pan here. So now, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with them. So yeah, this uh this is a pretty simple one. I've done this before and it was really good. 
probably like, I don't know, four or five years ago I tried it. And I enjoyed it, so we'll give her a shot again. And the tomatoes aren't really needed. It's more or less a sauce. They just soak in that flavor and then you can put the tomatoes on the side after and just sort of have it as a side to your pork chop type deal. And then we'll throw some salt and pepper and garlic salt, some parsley flakes, all the amenities. Get them all into the mix. AMW seasoning, 110%. This stuff. Mustache. I'm not sure if someone's here or someone just drove by. But Chloe was barking out towards the end of the laneway just a second ago. What's going on? I saw you. Yeah, I saw you barking over here. I was watching you. Was Dave walking by or something? Hey, was Dave walking by? Was he? Was he walking on by? Fuck. Was Dave walking by and you just had to bite at him? Oh, fuck. Bite at him? Bark at him? You would be biting at him if you had your chance, so... Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Chloe. Sit. Oh, good girl. Washed up them couple dishes there. Now I'm just uh, unloading the kids' lunches from today. Not a one-handed job being for the lunch though. SJ did pretty good. No complaints from him. Holy fuck, he ate everything I gave him. Get some hot dogs in there and some leftover. SJ is just human garbage disposal, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, when I'm packing his lunches, it's just like, okay, what don't we want? And I just start fucking loading them up. Just, oh, here's this. Oh, here's this. Oh, what's the fucking hot dogs? All right, yeah, throw them in. He loves it, though. It's just like feeding Chloe chili or whatever. Won't you? Yes, you will. Yes, yes, you will. We're gonna be doing up some corn, some minty action, old fashioned stove top action fucking corn. Good old fucking brick butter. God, I love your brick butter. Get your wadding spoon into your brick, butter her up, smack her down, Sydney Brown, and that's pretty much all she wrote. Fucking worst case, Ontario, you know, you put in a little more. What's going on? Big old bitch? Big old bitch? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Big old bitch, come here. 
Big old bitch. Come here. Oh, I'm big old bitch. What are you doing? Marley's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? What you running around like that for, bro? <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, yeah. Chef Bappy's just going at her tonight, folks. That'll take some medium heat now. Yeah, something like that. Cover up. She's licking a plate. I'm feeling stuffed. Now you're eating Marley's food. Cleaned all the pots and pans. Now you're eating Marley's food. It's just talking to Matt there. And uh, we're good to roll for tomorrow, as I assumed. I guess we're gonna be, I don't know if many of you have been watching, but like, uh, I don't know, year, year and a half ago, something like that, year ago. Fucking, we were working at this place in Bridge North. Made a sunroom into like a mini little office, and she has a business from did I don't know side of the house. Did attic work. What are you licking? You're licking weird ass. Yeah, I did some attic work. Put in windows. Fucking whole bunch of shit. I don't know. I figured would have been long gone. You know, like fuck. Probably could have built a house there by now. If you're going there every day. But anyways, we gotta go back there for something. I don't know if it's a fucking repair. Because they did do the roof on it. Well, we pretty much did everything to that place. So I don't know if we're doing a repair. Or just going there to fucking have tea and crumpets. Or what exactly. But we'll find out. At least we're getting paid. Another day's work. Gotta love it. Well, it's quarter after eight. Babe's just warming up the Jeep, getting ready to go. I'm putting some dishes away from there. And then we'll get all these dishes cleaned up. Not too sure why the taps are on. We'll turn that off. Conserve on some water. And yeah, we're working tomorrow, so. You know, we'll get all the fuck kitchen cleaned up. Clean up our bog, we'll make sure we got the bog cleaned up in the backpack for tomorrow. And, uh, make sure the kids are sound asleep, let the dogs out, and, uh, we're going to bed. I'm gonna take two of the cunts. That's all right, this coffee machine will be topped up for morning. I thought Matt was going to come over today, but I don't know. I think uh, he got a little busy or a little too stoned and passed out. You never know, maybe he went over to work for Bill today. just debating what I want to do because I still have all those burnables out on the deck but I don't know if I want to go have a fire tonight or we'll just go outside quickly and throw all those bags in the back of my truck so fucking animal don't get into them
all fucking cleaned up. Good stuff. Ready to make a mess again tomorrow. Well, folks, I'm going to do some other odds and ends. I still got a one load of laundry downstairs. It's all done and dried. Just got to bring it up. And I want to put those bag of garbage in the back of my truck. Check on the kids. Let the dogs out. Put the lid on this fucking coffee maker that I forgot. And then, uh, yeah. Betty by time. 8.39. Time to go to bed. Fucking see y'all in the next one.